Good evening everyone, it's Jared, I'm on chess.com, I'm going to play a 10 minute game. I haven't done this in a while, it's been a long time since I played a game. Well, at least since I played a game for YouTube, so here we go. 10 minute game, no more messing around. Mort Latch, a premium member. Okay, E5. Classic E5. Okay, then, whoops, let's, whoa, there we go, there we go, let's go knight f6, do I have lag? No, okay, so 1328 from United States, and what is my plan here, Fianchetto, or Fianchetto, depending on your pronunciation, <laughs> pronunciation, pronunciation, I dropped that pawn, wasn't thinking, Oh dear. Although, can I not, actually, can I not regain the pawn? No, hold on. Ah, oh. no, there is no knight takes e4 because of knight takes f7. Oh, that's upsetting. Well, if I castle, then uh, I think knight e4 is on. To regain the pawn because I'll be attacking his knight. So that wasn't a particularly smart move. Ah, uh, so 94 is not on now. In fact, is it still on? No, it is on still. Hold on, let's just check this. Knight e4 is on, isn't it? Knight takes e4. Because pawn takes, bishop takes e5. If knight takes, bishop takes e5. I think I'm going to do it. I don't see any reason not to. I think I'll do it. As he takes, I take his knight. Takes with either pawn or knight, I take his knight with my bishop. If he doesn't take, then I just move it back. I hope there is not a serious refutation for this move. We'll find out. I think I, yeah, I think I just got lucky. And I blundered a pawn, but, um, actually I've also got this fork now. <laughs> wow, I'm actually getting quite lucky in this game. This is a fork, right? There is, like, his bishop... There is no like check. Uh, there isn't. That's an in-between move. But doesn't he's still losing a piece? Let's move back. This uh, best move is Bishop takes D5, isn't it? Wow. Crazy. Just a move as simple as castling. For white, it seems completely natural. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't take the pawn. I'm very surprised he didn't take the pawn. So at least you can get a pawn back for the piece. Okay, he's going to get that pawn back anyway. Maybe. In fact, I can grab on... Um, d4 with my queen um, queen takes so queen takes pawn queen takes bishop takes queen rook takes pawn yeah I've got pressure on f2 retreat my bishop back to b6 I don't know I don't know I'm giving his rook some play. I am up a piece, but I don't know if it's necessary. Um, it's an exchange of prisoners, as the chess network would say. That's a little plug. <laughs> okay, so uh, bishop takes d4, queen takes d4, or should I play like rook e8? If I play rook e8, he holds onto his pawn. I think I'll just take this and um, see what he's going to do with his queen if he'll recapture. 
if I can get pieces off, then uh, yes, good. And that'll be the site. I'll be better, I think. So if I ah, uh, does he actually have rook e seven? Is that that is no? Actually, I've got two pieces on f seven. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. What's going on with my mouse, actually? Every time I go to move the piece, I have to attempt two times. I'm not sure why. Okay. So, okay, rook e7. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, I see. Now, if I play rook d8, he's got rook e7, and I might be in trouble. Although I can counter attack with f5. No, I can't, it's pinned. I could sack the exchange. I could play bishop f5. But then. Then what? Don't feel I should move my rook, because then rook e7 comes. And then um, I've got no defense on f7. It'll need to be defended. Can I actually get away with it? No. I think I'm pretty much forced to play like bishop f5. Or should I just simply sack the exchange? Probably not. I am up a piece. Let's just play bishop f5. Um, it gets a piece out at least, but he's probably just going to move. I don't know. I might be actually making things worse. Cause rook e7 now. Yeah. Seems a bit nasty. Okay. Knight c6, bishop takes f8, king takes, rook takes, king e8, rook, check, king d8, if, rook check, king d7, am I in trouble? No, actually, knight c6, rook takes. I think I'll sack the exchange. In fact, no, I think I'll do this. This yet this attacks the rook again. Knight c6 attacks the rook. So if bishop takes f6, knight takes e7. Oh, knight takes e7, actually. Um, this bishop takes e7. Ah, I think best for him was it was actually bishop takes h6, because I couldn't take, because he gets uh, two pieces for the rook. So I think I've dodged a bullet here. So what about rook e8? Rook e8. So now I just want to get pieces off, I think. So I'll put this in. I'm down to four and a half minutes, he's got seven and a half. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm just... Should I just take? In fact, I can play knight d4. Oh, no. Well, hold on. Uh, if I take, rook takes. I've got to be careful. I've got some back rank issues. Hmm, I need a couple accurate moves. Okay, I think bishop e7 might actually be necessary before playing knight here. In any case, I've got to move pretty quickly. That's just exchange, I think. Now, this bishop is a big pain. Um, I'm also pinned. So, okay, how about, uh, no. Okay, knight e, or knight d4. Or knight d4 now. 
Because that'll get rid of this bishop. My back rank is secure for the moment. Um, okay, I'll take this. I'll take that, and um, I could take this pawn, but I think I'll play rook. Rook d8, so his back rank is weak. He'll probably play g3 or something. Give his king some air. Okay, very good. And now I need... I can... Oh, man. Okay, I really need to give my king some air. But I've got air, air everything protected, so I can grab here first. And then, like, f6. What about f5? Let's go f5 instead. So I'm giving my king some air. Um, now, I think... Hmm. My bishop's watching that, so how about... Um, I can now play, like, rook... Okay, this bishop's not doing anything. How about, um, let's see. What about c5? Let's, I think I want to get rid of this bishop, actually. So bishop g7. In fact, that doesn't work, because there's rooks on it. Yeah, okay. I can grab this pawn, but I'll lose this one. I'm off a piece. This should be pretty trivial, shouldn't it? Okay, let's just grab here first. Ah, oh, I gave the piece back. No. Woo. That's lucky. That's lucky. He could have taken on c2. Woo, I almost messed that up. Almost messed that up big time. Okay, so let's reposition my pieces, maybe. Okay, now he spots that. Okay, let's just... What about here? Um, how... Okay. Just think for a second. How am I going to, um... Free this position? What about rook b8 to, uh, b7? Get that rook off my 7th. Off my second. Okay, I'll just take here. And now, uh, rook d7. He's just made it a bit easier for me. This pawn is pinned, that's one thing. Um, okay. So now I've checked king f7, and I'm making progress. So I've got less than two minutes, and he's got just under six. Yep, check. So here. Okay, what about rook to b7? No, rook b7 just plays rook c4. So what about rook e7 to e2? Rook e7 to e2. Um... Okay, if check again, king d6. Now what about king d5? That's probably better. King d5. Okay, I've guarded my second rank, so that's some um, good news. Okay, let's just play king d5. So my king is marching. In fact, I can move... I can move... I should have... Yes. Now I can move my rook to b7. Or... Even e7, attacking the rook. Okay, I'll, I'll do that now. So I'm threatening to come to e2 with my rook, and I'm also attacking his rook on c8. You'll probably notice the rook on c8. Um, okay, so he moves the rook, rook e2. If he moves, okay, rook c2, let's say. No, there, there is no rook c2. Okay, king, king here. I'm on this pawn. Okay, I'll just... Oh, I can't take. I was about to take. Okay. 
That's okay. This rook here. Um, I've left my second, but I think this is all right. I've actually got bishop takes f2 with a discovered check. Next. Um, surely I can win this. <laughs> surely. The bishop takes f2, I'm able to grab that pawn. Also, if pawn push, I just take with the bishop on b6, maintaining this threat on this pawn. Um, is he going to resign? Um, I'm pretty confident I can win this, even with less than one and a half minutes to go. Okay. Let's take with the bishop. My mouse isn't working. Something weird is going on with my mouse. Uh, was that wise? I think it's okay. Okay, this is getting a bit shifty. Because my, some of my pieces are, are protecting each other. Some of them are hanging. Uh, he can't actually attack this bishop, which is fortunate. Unless it's with his rook. I, okay, I need to get his bishop or rook off somehow. In fact... Can I play this? No, his rook was there before. Okay, grab that pawn. I really just want to get that rook off. Let's free up one piece first. Forty-seven seconds to win this. Plus, I got a dodgy mouse. Aha, uh -huh, now I can play this. Okay, so he takes my rook, I take his rook. Come on. I've got two pawns. Let's just go over to these pawns. This is winning um, with the two bishops, but I've got 40 seconds to checkmate him. <laughs> Hold on, why don't, let's just go back for these pawns. Back for these pawns. Why don't I just race this pawn? Takes too long. Actually, maybe I will. I, th I think I'll race this pawn. In fact, that probably is going to take too long, isn't it? I'll get these pawns going. H pawn. G5. Okay, if I push my pawn up to g2, he can't attack it, and now I can go and... Oh, the, come on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just freaking out a little. This should be pretty simple, because my bishop's protecting this. Let's march my king up here. He can't prevent... Hold on. Can he prevent both pawns? I really hope this is not going to be a draw. Hold on, now let's go over to this pawn. His king's just going to get in front of it, isn't he? Oh my goodness, I think I have messed this up. Pretty sure I have. No, maybe I haven't actually. This is going to be a bit of a time scramble to, um... Okay, so his king's going to go in front, yes. His king's just going to go back and forth. I'll walk in dark squares so that, um... I can get over there. Uh-huh. I think I've got 14 seconds. Go. Be 
goes back, I go King F. I think this is it. If he goes King G1, King here, he's forced to go over to H2. Let's just put that as a pre-move. Even with nine seconds to go, I've got this. That was crazy. I just left the chat, okay. What a crazy, crazy game. Let's have a quick look at it. It's one of those Bishop C4 openings, and I just dropped that pawn, but actually, fortunately, there was this tactic where I could get the pawn back. And then he blundered a piece, which made it. But I don't. I'm still. I still don't understand why he didn't play bishop takes d5, at least to get a pawn back for the piece. Maybe he likes his bishops more than his knights. But uh, you're going to lose a piece. You might as well get a pawn back for it, right? Anyway, strange. So I gave him that pawn, and I thought I was in serious danger here. Um, just back here, I think actually bishop takes f8 is better. Because I can't play knight takes e7, because then bishop takes e7. And uh, I think he's up a piece. He's got his piece back. So I have to give up the exchange. I have to capture with this rook, and then he'll move his rook back. Um, so I think, yeah, rook e2 is wrong. But um, best just to get pieces off. And... Here I blundered that pawn, but I got that one. And there I blundered a piece, which he didn't see. Probably wouldn't have won if I if he if if he saw that. Wow, what a crazy game! So of course can't take that pawn because I lose my bishop. And that, that this bit got a bit hairy because pieces defending pieces and got the rooks off, which is what I wanted. And yeah, I thought for a while here that I'd mess this up. But I just got his bishop off and then was able to, yeah, the uh, play, play this move here, king to g4. And um, if he wants to prevent the pawn from queening, which he can't, but king to g1, there's just king to f3. And he can't leave this way, so he's forced to go to h2. And yeah, thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm back on YouTube, so that's good. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.